Christ cannot quench love, neither can floods dry up. Colors and With the lighting of the candles, may it be a reminder of prayers from each of your families who are so willing to support you and remain to be always at your side. They may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I now ask you to state your intentions. Douglas and Alexis, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. Douglas, do you take Alexis to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? I do. Alexis, do you take Douglas to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him? in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life. I did. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent that you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Alexis, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Douglas, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us all welcome uh, the new husband and wife. <laughs> I need you to please take the candle, each symbolizing your life before today, and then together light the center candle to symbolize the union of your individual lives. the occasion of the sacrament of matrimony, that their love consecrated at the altar will be blessed each day with divine graces.
It is my pleasure to stand here today and celebrate the marriage of two of the most amazing and deserving people I know. The oldest is reliable, uh, the middle is rebellious, the youngest is charming and manipulative. And I'm only going to say this once, so at least you have a hundred or so witnesses. <clears throat> I love you. So, to Doug and Lex and the fastest couple in cowboy boots. Woo. Cheers. Think I can fly